Hello everyone, this is Eli G. Brown, Snitch Tommy Jr. and Sarah, and somebody, I don't remember who, uh, feel free to call yourself out, has asked me to do a video showing my train uh, layout. Now, I have actually done some modifications to this uh, train layout in the past, uh, well, from time to time, just take the train set apart and build a new one. Of course, I never build the same layout twice, uh, for obvious reasons. But here's the one that is, uh, that is here as of uh, the time that this video is posted, which would be on July uh, 9th, I believe. Uh, so, anyway, this is my uh, train set right here. Well, this is the, uh, the the train room. It's also the room where I do my uh, reviews, my Lego Bionicle, Lego Hero Factory, and pretty soon also Legends of Chima uh, reviews. Oh, I should also mention the uh, mystery minifigure series. So let's... Let's take a look in this uh, room besides just the layout here. Well, first off, there's my bed in this room. Uh, sometimes during thunderstorms, lightning storms, I come down here because, well, this is in the basement. Uh, and um, I gotta, I'm going to try to turn some things over uh, to try not to uh, show further details. Oh, well, here, here's my collection of Lego minifigures right here. Uh, I took away the, uh, the repeats that I have here, uh, though I haven't sold any of them on eBay yet. I have those down here because I feel that they just belong to the uh, train set. Might decide to make a Lego city in the future, just like what Lego Jang is doing. Uh, but yeah, that that's my uh, minifig collection as of right now. Although I really wish that I decided to buy one when I got the Jet Rocket set. Uh, Anyway, this this room also has a couple of shelves where the trains are when they're not being played. Of course, some of them are really, really old. Like, some of them have their paint uh, kind of scraped off, like my really old Oliver right here. I don't have the 2006 Oliver. I would like to get them, but right now they cost about... $35, I may decide to buy one for that price anyway, because I have no other choice, but I'm really rather saving up my money for some um, other things right now, but okay. And, well, there's really not much to say about this. I mean, well, there are shelves where the trains are when they're out of the layout. Here are some more of them, uh, right here. Oh, and there is also this little drawer right here. Uh, it doesn't right now, but I do plan to get a TV right here. Uh, and I will also show you my Thomas uh, VHS uh, collection right here. I haven't played these videos for years. Yeah, but um, it'll be good at times to play these videos again uh, as soon as I get the TV up here. I also happen to have a, a German uh, DVD right here. In, uh, in 2006, my older sister took a trip to Germany and she brought this back. Uh, so it features nine episodes in German. Uh, of course, uh, 
have tried playing the uh, DVD on a couple of uh, devices. It doesn't work on a regular old TV, but it does work uh, on a computer. Uh, which kind of gives me some fears that if I purchased a, uh, a Thomas DVD or VHS from, like, maybe the United Kingdom, where I would have the, uh, the British narrator of the story, uh, it probably would not work on a American, uh, DVD player. I, I could be wrong, it, it probably does work. It, if somebody watching this video has played a British Thomas video on a American, uh, video player and it does work fine, well, please tell me that. I really want to know so that if I do plan to get something like that, I... I will know that they will work great. Yeah, these come from, uh, well, a very, uh, long way away, uh, as such. Some of them are a bit, uh, well, their cases are a bit old, but the videos hopefully still work fine, although some of them do have a, uh, couple of problems, but not much. Not much, fortunately. Uh, okay, enough with that, now let's actually go on to the trains at right here. Okay, well first of all, there's this. This is my very own custom-made wooden railway Ernest the Engine car. I spray-painted my old uh, rusty to make him, uh, yellow and have red wheels. I know there are gonna be some people saying, Oh, you, you ruined your, uh, rusty. You ruined your wooden train. You destroyed a very good train. Well, too bad. I did it. And I'm happy that I did it. I do what I want with my trains. If you have a problem with that, don't do the same thing to your own. Alright, because I have a completely new Rusty, the, uh, the up-to-date 2012 edition Rusty, and it is a lot better. Well, here's a shunting yard that I did. Uh, sometimes I can't get all of the tracks onto the, uh, on the main layout. I kind of want to have a little shunting yard for the, uh, for two of the turntables that I have, uh, right here. So, if you're wondering what that whirring noise is, it's my, uh, fan. I have it on because it's way hot down here. I should also point out that there is also this thing. This is a Rio, uh, track item. I, I wrote the name Picker on, uh, on this because I kind of made it a, uh, custom... Thomas the Tank Engine character. I also added a face on there, but it's not there anymore. Might decide to make this a character in my Thomas and Friends New Engine Flight Show Part 51, which I don't know when I'm gonna make that sort of video. So just be very patient. Uh, and I've also brought up that, well, the reason why I'm not doing Eli the Tank Engine right now is because there aren't any more characters to put into the series. My battery is actually very low, so I'm going to recharge it, and we'll be back in a bit.